Welcome to Fincate. <laughs> Volunteering. A lot of people think this is something just for the young. No, not at all. We have had volunteers almost as old as we are. <laughs> and it's a perfect opportunity for people to try out a lifestyle that they think they're going to enjoy, but they don't actually know. They're in the distance. <laughs> just about to come through our house gate are the orally men our apologies for the faulty towers reference the window men I'm gonna get new windows and I'm so excited yeah 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 it's a curious thing uh, but they don't want to talk to me because it's technical, they insist on talking to Steve. And the truth is, my Spanish is better than Steve's. But they don't care. Uh, they want to talk to him, not me. The land is divided up into two sections, really. And there is a gate to each. All the way around the Finca is a wall with a fence on top. And um, we have a vegetable garden and we have chickens. The casita, our guest accommodation, is there. And the main house is there. A bit of a wall. So, as you can see, it's quite a lot of land to look after. There is enough work here to keep us busy without doing any projects at all, but we still have projects we would like to do. So, we have given ourselves a proverbial kick up the butt, and uh, we're now looking for help. Are you showing him today? No, I haven't been up. Oh, he's waving at us. He's waving at us. He's waving at you. He's got to ask us a question, obviously. Well, good luck. Oh, well. You know this? He walked right past me to talk to Steve. Jeez. This is the lower end of the Finca. We have a little barbecue area, tables, a garage, and the casita. Right, well, I can't show you inside the casita at the moment because uh, it's full of all my brother's stuff and uh, he's away working. I will show you some old film of the inside. It hasn't changed. It's The layout inside is exactly the same. How does volunteering work? Well, basically, it's an exchange. You work four or five hours a day, and in return, you get free accommodation and one main meal a day, and you can help yourself to as many eggs as you want and veggies from the vegetable garden. Uh, we do also stock out the casita kitchen with some basics like pasta and if I'm baking bread, 
there's always bread um, but you do have to provide yourself with your own breakfast and your own evening meal it's not so much what he said as just the way I was invisible Yeah. I mean, they didn't stop long for second breakfast. You know, they do work no, they very have. hard once they get here. Mm. So, I, although I'm asking for volunteers, it's all kind of up in the air because we can't take them yet. Of course, the issues with the windows is that every single window in the house was slightly different size and we told the window man that and he measured <sighs> look mm. window men have gone and the windows look great but of course the finishing off on the inside we have to do that now this is what we asked for because the old windows actually were here and we wanted an internal window ledge so we asked them to push the windows further back as a result, we have all this to make good. The only thing I'm concerned about is these holes. And the reason I'm concerned is because I can't sleep if I think there'll be creepy crawlies coming out of those holes. So Steve has gone off to get some tape cover up all the holes on all the windows before I can sleep and I am busy trying to sort out the dust <sighs> but on a positive note I love the windows I really love the windows it's going to be fabulous when they're completely finished and Steve's going to have to start on that tomorrow which means he's going to have to stop doing the trees. I need to clone him. <laughs>